hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create this valentine's day special greeting card in the app ibs paint text so first i have opened a 5 cross 7 inch canvas and now i am going to set up a grid so that i can get an idea of where is my center and is it uh, i'm placing the uh, elements equally uh, with equal space so here you can see i just positioning the uh, grid and changing the grid one interval and two interval so that i can position them exactly and i'm just changing the position on x and y little bit so that i will get the exact uh, symmetry so now i think it looks exactly perfect okay my grid is ready this is just for our reference purpose so this will not uh, come in the final result so now i'm going to draw a rectangle i'm using fill tip and hard brush and rectangle tool and i'm just drawing at the center of the canvas so basically i'm going to create a paper um, like structure using this rectangle so before that um here you can see i just draw an extra dot and removing it using lasso eraser and now i want to fill the background so i just created new canvas and using some purple like color and filling it with that and now coming back to my rectangle i'm going to make this as a uh, paper crunchy paper like that so before that i'm going to making some changes using the mesh tool you can see i'm just uh, increasing i mean moving the uh, corners a little bit outward and uh, the centers a little bit inward um, and like this you can see some changes and look and uh, not exactly but approximately like a pepper to make it like a torn old pepper i'm just adding these details in fact not adding i'm just uh, removing these strokes um, uh, like torn like the de uh, details from the rectangle using lasso eraser tool so as i already told you uh, using lasso eraser tool you can erase the minor details uh, which uh, eventually give um, you know, clarity to your artwork so here you can see as i want a torn like uh, corners for the entire paper uh, for the entire rectangle I'm just removing such small strokes some irregular um, details and now I'm just duplicated this to create a shadow so now you can see I just painted that rectangle with the uh, black color and now I want to create a shadow so I'm just pointing them out the corners out a little bit so that i'll get the um, shadow um, which is visible and here you can see i'm just pointing some inward and wherever you can see there is a bulge in the shape there that the shadow going to be larger so you can place accordingly and now using the gaussian blur from the blur filter i'm just blurring out the um black rectangle and making the layer as uh, multiple blending mode so now my paper is ready and i want to add some texture so i'm choosing material patterns gray and using this um you know pattern to create some you know, texture to the um or paper and i'm just changing the blending mode to linear blending mode still i wish yeah something like this so i just used um transform tool to zoom them in okay now my paper is ready but still i want to make some old older paper so i want some 
dark textures so using linear burn blending or clipping layer and using soft pastel mode i'm just creating like a texture to the old paper like texture just made one stroke using that brush as well as i need some dark corners since if it is the old paper it's going to be torn as well as the corner is going to be a little bit dirty so something like that so to create such texture i'm just using some darker shades of that uh, brush i mean a uh, color and using the linear blending mode i'm just creating this darker corners and now it is ready and just switching off the grid tool as I don't need it anymore. Now in a new layer I'm going to add some texture. So the text uh, I mean text. The text is you are my Valentine. So I want you are my to be smaller and Valentine to be bigger. So for that we can only do is just use two text box. So this is my first text. Okay, I want it to be at the center alignment and also changing the spacing with, uh, between the letters. Okay, I am okay with this. Click, tick. And now click on the layer again. You will get another text box. You can add the text Valentine. And I am using this font. I will mention the font at the top. You can use them. And this uh, downloaded font from the uh, online option available from the IBS Paint X itself. So next, my text is ready. I want to add some texture to it. So what I am going to do before that, I want the valentine to be a little bit thicker. So I am just increasing the size of stroke with the same color. And now it is ready. So I want to add some texture to it. Just create a clipping layer with blending mode linear burn. And using the same brush soft pastel mode same color. Since I am using the linear burn uh, blending mode the same color going to get darker when I use on this blending mode. So now you can see there is some texture to the uh, letters. Now I am going to merge them. Okay, I merged them together and made the texture layer, text layer as a clipping layer for my paper. And now I'm going to add some highlight to my paper. So create another clipping layer with the add blending mode and using add brush normal. So likewise, and just added some shades to it, some highlights to the paper. Now you can see it's like an old like a paper with some highlights it's perfect I feel. so now i'm going to add some background to the paper now my paper is ready i'm just creating a folder and putting all the uh, layers related to the paper on that folder so now i'm going to add some details i mean the background so for that i'm using dip pen hard brush and clicking on the force way I am going to draw some leaf like details not exactly the leaves but something like this it looks elegant and especially when you made them as mild and if you add some texture to it it looks perfect for the background so it as well as it looks very classy so now you can add any details as you wish for now I'm just adding something like this okay it's just a random lines you don't need to worry about the perfection so I'm just going to duplicate this and naming the first one as background want and making this blending mode as overlay okay I feel overlay I want overlay but I need to change the color a little bit so for that I'm just keeping the layer uh, in alpha lock using special laser fill tool I'm using a milder color like this and just do as I did 
will uh, immediately get the change in color so i reduced the opacity of the layer a little bit and now i'm going to duplicate this overlay layer and i'm going to make the color of this leaf into black so that i can create a shadow shadow so basically what i'm doing here is i'm just creating the shadow for that leaf so make the mask black change its position to downwards a little bit and using the uh, gaussian blur as usual i'm just creating some blur to create this shadow you can feel the difference it looks very mild and as well as give some uh, details now i have changed the position of the duplicated leaf layer like this just use the flip horizontally vertical tools and i'm going to change the color for this as well so as i need something else milder okay now you can see i just changing the blending mode to soft light and change the color as well now i'm going to duplicate this layer same process again so keep the uh, keep it in an alpha log use black color to fill the leaves with and then remove the alpha lock tool and then go to transform change its position a little bit to create some shadow visible like this go to filter gaussian blur and ready so here is our uh, you know the shadow for this layer and i'm just pushing and uh, adjusting the opacity finding out which works better okay now it's ready the background is ready but still i need some more a leaf like background so i'm using milder color digital like color again using kaleidoscope ruler with uh, with you know 16 or something like 10 okay 10 is perfect so with the 10 uh, divisions i'm creating leaves like this so what i'm going to do is just going to draw something like this duplicate them two times to create more crowded leaves so here you can see i just duplicated this go to transform tool as i want to change its angle a little bit like this so now it looks crowded so i want to add some flowers here and there not much visible one but just to add some uh, flavors to the details all everything remains same it doesn't look good so once again i'm duplicating the first leaf layer that we have created and changing the angle a little bit and reducing its size okay now i'm just switching off the kaleidoscope ruler now the same process once again so if you feel bored but what can i do i'm going to do the same process again so here i'm going to create the shadow for this so to create shadow just duplicate each layer keep it that in alpha lock mode and use the black color to fill with and then change the uh, position to a little bit lower and then use the gaussian blur now it's ready make sure once you filled the layer uh, and leaves with black color, switch off the alpha lock. Otherwise, you cannot see the uh, you know Gaussian blur uh, you know process happening. So now same process once again. So I really like these details. It's look like a paper cut art. So now here you can see. Once again, I'm doing the same process, and if you feel like my hand looks really worst, so it's due to the bad climate here. It's highly cold, and my hands you no know, literally suffered a lot due to this climate. So now you can understand what I'm doing. I'm just adding the texture to this just created new layer above the background base uh, layer and using the soft pastel mode i just added some stroke created the texture and now everything is ready so i want to add 
texture to that leaves as well so everything i'm going to put every of that small uh, circle leaves into your folder and then i'm going to create a new layer clipping layer for that keeping that in multiply mode and add some texture same texture soft pastel mode so basically soft pastel uh, mode brush gives some paper like texture to our artwork so if you want to add some paper like texture anywhere in your artwork i can prefer you this soft pastel mode so now everything is ready this is our final greeting card i hope you like this tutorial and find it useful if you like subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching